Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qadaybiyah Palace a number of royal family members and officials. His Royal Highness affirmed that the region's stability and development is still targeted, adding that there are individuals that try to create challenges and obstacles in the kingdom. The Prime Minister stressed that the unity of the people is what foils and destroys these plans and efforts. During the meeting, His Royal Highness expressed pride in the example the Bahraini citizen leads in working and making achievements on the local regional and international levels, noting that the achievements of the Bahraini people in various fields is a source of pride. His Royal Highness highlighted the government's appreciation of the Bahraini citizen and noted that the priority of ministers and officials is improving the services provided to citizens. He affirmed that the government's various programs and plans to develop infrastructure and utilities are working to keep up with the citizens' needs and aspirations through an ongoing process to monitor and prioritize projects that meet the development requirements of Bahrain. The Prime Minister highlighted his personal follow-up of development and service projects in the Kingdom in a manner that ensures their fast completion according to the high standards. His Royal Highness stated that the Bahraini citizen is the focus of development and its first goal. In line with the keenness of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to enhance efforts to develop the performance of all government agencies and to successfully implement the requirements of the financial balance program at all levels, including the civil service, and in support of the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to follow up on the implementation of the program, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister considered that His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister is assigned to preside over the Civil Service Council and the transfer of subordination of the Civil Service Bureau to the Civil Service Council. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed his appreciation for the achievements of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and his efforts to strengthen the system of work in the government. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed the keenness to continue to develop the performance of the executive authority and to realize the aspirations of His Majesty the King. Earlier, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a written letter to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, in which His Royal Highness said that in support of the financial balance program launched by the government under the direct supervision and to achieve the objectives of the program in its various aspects, including follow-up technical matters related to the civil service associated with the program of financial balance. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister entrusted to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince the presidency of the Civil Service of Council followed by the Civil Service Bureau and to take the necessary legal and administrative procedures. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed confidence that such a step will have a great impact on expediting the achievement of the requirements of the financial balance in the Civil Service. His Royal Highness also expressed confidence that the enlightened vision and resolve of His Royal Highness will enhance the development of civil service for the good of the country and its people and to achieve the aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received a letter of thanks from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, in which His Royal Highness valued the efforts of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, pledging to continue the national endeavor firmly and responsibly on on the path of success and progress. His Royal Highness wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister continued health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today arrived in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia to attend the Future Investment Initiative FII following an official invitation from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Chairman of the Council for Economic and Development Affairs and Chairman of the Public Investment Fund Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The 2018 FII is held under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul 
Abdul Aziz Al Saud and is chaired by the Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman. His Royal Highness was welcomed by the Deputy Governor of Riyadh, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials. In a statement, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince said he was pleased to visit Saudi Arabia to attend the Future Investment Initiative and to meet with the Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman. He emphasized that the FII represents a unique platform to discuss how the region's economic transformation can be accelerated through inter-regional collaboration and said he looked forward to discussing a range of shared priorities with Bahrain's partners over the course of the conference. He conveyed His Majesty the King's best wishes to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and to the Crown Prince. The Crown Prince noted that the culture to trade, security cooperation, and the wider economy and bilateral relationship is long standing, diverse, and stronger now than ever before. His Royal Highness affirmed that the Bahrain Saudi relations represent the benchmark for how partnerships can drive innovation and shared growth, and Bahrain is committed to exploring new ways to build on that partnership for years to come. He wished Saudi Arabia and its people further progress and prosperity under its leadership. His Royal Highness was accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, senior government officials and representatives from the private sector. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince has departed for Riyadh, Saudi Arabia to lead Bahrain's delegation to the 2018 Future Investment Initiative taking place between the 23rd and the 25th of October. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's attendance follows an official invitation by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday inaugurated the launch of the 2018 Youthful Festival, the first international global youth festival for the Sustainable Development Goals at Isa Town Sports City. The international festival held under the patronage of His Majesty the King and organized by the Ministry of Youth and Sport Affairs in partnership with the United Nations Development Program UN. NDP aims to raise awareness among youth regarding steps taken to recognize and achieve the UN's SDGs through a wide range of activities and events. During the launch, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the Kingdom's achievements in meeting various SDGs in line with its comprehensive development program led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince further highlighted the importance of spreading awareness of the SDGs to youth as they play an integral role as future leaders leaders of the Kingdom's development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince went on to praise the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as the organizers in planning the international event. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted the event's role in educating youth on the importance of working towards the SDGs and of understanding the crucial requirements needed for long-term development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince emphasized that the Kingdom's partnership with the UNDP in organizing events such as this one, which underscores Bahrain's continued commitment in cooperating and coordinating with international institutions on achieving the SDGs to benefit the country and its citizens.
محمد آل خليفة ممثل جلالة الملك للأعمال الخيرية وشؤون الشباب رئيس المجلس الأعلى للشباب والرياضة رئيس اللجنة الأولمبية البحرينية لإلقاء كلمته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ولي العهد الأمين نائب القائد الأعلى نائب رئيس مجلس الوزراء الموقر نائب حضرة صاحب الجلالة راعي الحفل أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة أخواني وأخواتي شباب العالم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته في البداية اسمح لي يا صاحب السمو أن أرحب بضيوف مملكة البحرين شباب العالم في بلدهم الثاني متمنين لهم طيب الإقامة ونتمنى إن شاء الله أن ما نكون مقصرين معاكم ونتمنى إن شاء الله أن أنتم أيضا تردون هذا النداء اللي نحن شاكرين تلبيتكم له وهذا النداء هي مهمة وطنية وعالمية لكيفية التنمية المستدامة وما هذا الملتقى إلا تأكيد على اهتمام سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة الله يحفظه ويرعاه واهتمامه المباشر بشؤون الشباب وشؤون العالم وبالأخص بشؤون أهداف التنمية المستدامة ولكن أنا ودي أن أوضح لكم وأتكلم لكم مباشرة دون أي رسميات ودون أي معوقات ودون أي تلميح ولكن نحن نريد نتكلم مباشرة في مقصد ملتقانا الليلة ونتمنى إن شاء الله في اختتام هذه الملتقى أن نوصل بالحل المطلوب واللي إحنا إن شاء الله نرجو منه لأن ما في شك أن أنتم خيرة من يمثل بلدانهم خيرة شبابنا وشاباتنا راح تأخذون هذه المهمة بمحمل الجد وراح تخرجون إن شاء الله بالمخرجات المطلوبة لأن في نهاية المطاف اختلفت بلادينا اختلفت عاداتنا وتقاليدنا اختلفت طرقنا اختلفت أدياننا إلا أن هذه اللغة اللي انتكلمها هي لغة واحدة والمقصود بهذه اللغة هي لغة أهداف التنمية المستدامة هذه اللغة المقصود فيها أن هناك جيل واعد بإذن الله قادر أن يصنع عالم كلنا متفقين عليه بأن يكون هذا عالم جميل ما في شك عندنا في مملكة البحرين وغيرك معرف يا صاحب السمو لأنك أنت أساسا رأس هذا الهرم في تنمية هذا البلد وإشراقة هذا البلد وتطوير وتنمية كل كوادر هذا البلد فما لا داعي أشرح لكم ما لا داعي سيدي أشرح لكم ماذا قامت به حكومة مملكة البحرين من خطوات إلا أن ودي أني أشرح لضيوفنا الكرام بهذه الخطوات أن مملكة البحرين بقيادتها الرشيدة وبحكومتها التي تشتغل وتبذل قصاري جهدها تضع أولوياتها أن يكون هناك من ضمن أولوياتنا الرئيسية في مملكة البحرين هي تأمين هذه الخطوات التي تعد إعداد لمستقبل هذا العالم 
وإعداد لشبابنا وأجيالنا عن طريق أهداف التنمية المستدامة فما يأتي هذا بحديث من الداخل أو من البيت الداخلي بل يأتي هذا إشادة عن طريق التغرير الطوعي في الأمم المتحدة التي الذي استعرضوه في الأمم المتحدة ونال إعجاب وإشادة كبار المسؤولين بما تقوم به مملكة البحرين فأتمنى من جميعا نشكر قيادتنا الرشيدة ونقف وقفة إجلال واحترام على فهمهم لهذا هذه الأهمية اللي راح يواجهها عالمنا في المستقبل الغريب أنا أقول مستقبل الغريب لأن هذا الجيل هو الجيل الأول والجيل المحظوظ اللي راح يعيش أهداف التنمية المستدامة هو اللي راح يضعها وهو اللي راح يعيشها إحنا هذا الجيل كنا نقول عن الجيل اللي سابقا هو المحظوظ الجيل السابق هو شاف العالم القديم قبل التكنولوجيا وقبل التطور وقبل السرعة وشاف هذا العالم اليوم احنا نعيش فيه شاف التقدم والتقنية وكل ما تشهده هذه الكرة الأرضية من تقدم وتسارع إلى أن أصبح الرغبة الأساسية للبشر هي السرعة ما في أي رغبة ثانية لأي بني آدم اليوم إلا للسرعة والإثبات كل متطلباتنا اليوم تحتاج السرعة تبغون سرعة الخدمة تبغون سرعة الأكسس تبغون سرعة الإنترنت تبغون سرعة الهواتف تبغون السرعة هي الكلمة السرية اليوم وهذه قد أنها تصير إيجابية لكن سلبيتها هي كرتنا الأرضية والمقصود في هذا الشيء أن إحنا هذا الشباب اليوم مع العولمة مع التقدم مع السرعة إلا أن إحنا يجب يكون علينا وعي ويكون على عاتقنا الاهتمام والفهم بأن إحنا الجيل اللي راح نعيش أولى خطوات ونجاحات أهداف التنمية المستدامة هذا الجيل هو الجيل اللي راح يصنع قرار السلام العالمي هذا الجيل هو الجيل اللي راح يحارب الجوع هذا الجيل راح يقضي على الفقر وهذا الجيل راح يوفر العمل ويقضي على البطالة وهذا الجيل راح يعزز الاقتصاد والابتكار والصناعة هذا الجيل العظيم وبإذن الله أنا ما أبغي أطول عليكم لأن وقتكم ثمين وأنا مستعجل أبغي أشوف نتائج هذا المؤتمر ونتائجكم وابتكاراتكم فأنا أبغي منكم كل هذه الأفكار يا خيرة من يمثل هذا البلد وخيرة من يمثل بلدانهم أنا أبغي هذه النقاط أستعرضكم إياها الآن اللي بذكرها والأرقام وأبغيكم إن شاء الله في اليومين القادمين تطلعونا حلول تجلسون مع بعضكم البعض تتكلمون هذه اللغة الوحدة اللي إحنا ذكرناها في بداية الحديث اسمحوا لي أعطيكم أرقام ما هي بطيبة إحنا دائما نحب نسمع الأخبار الطيبة اليوم اسمحوا لي أوقف أمامكم أعطيكم خبر ما هو بطيب ولكن أنا إنسان متفائل إنسان طموح نتعلم من قيادتنا الرشيدة وهذا أكبر اهتمام وجود من أكبر رؤوس هذا البلد موجود معانا اليوم في في هذه الغرفة يستمع إلينا متشوق إلى نتائجنا عارفين قيادتنا أن شبابنا جادين عارفين أن شبابنا يعرفون كيف يوصلون إلى الحل عارفين أن شبابنا متعلم فيا شباب استعدوا لهذه الأرقام اللي أنا ما أعتبرها سيئة لكن أعتبر أن إن شاء الله هذه أرقام وحلولها جاية إن شاء الله في القريب لازم نعرف أن 783 مليون شخص وللأسف يعيشون تحت خط الفقر عندنا يعاني واحد 
من بين كل تسعة أشخاص من نقص التغذية عندنا ارتفاع عدد العاطلين وهذه القراءة من قبل 2007 وإلى الآن من 170 مليون إلى 202 مليون منهم 75 مليون شاب وشابة من عام 1880 إلى 2012 ارتفعت نسبة الحرارة بمقدار 0.85 درجة وهذا يمكن أنتم ما تشوفونه كثير لكن المنحدر هذا يدق ناقوس الخطر ما يقدر بثلث الأغذية المنتجة تنتهي إلى التعفن والرمي في الحاويات يفتقر ثلاثة من كل عشرة أشخاص إلى خدمة مياه الشرب المأمونة وأنتم تسمعون دائما بالمخاطر القادمة والمخاطر المستقبلية هي حروب الموارد الطبيعية وجعلنا من الماء كل شيء حي والماء هو أهم عنصر اليوم ونواجه فيه انحدار شديد وعندنا ناس من هذا البشر يفتقرون وجوده يعتمد عندنا حول ثلاثة بليون شخص على الطرق البدائية للتدفئة والطبخ أي أقصد يعني يستخدمون الحطب والنفايات عزكم الله والفحم إلينا اليوم ثلاثة بليون شخص يستخدم هذه الطرق البدائية وإحنا نقول عالمنا متطور ووصل إلى أقصى الحدود أكثر من 265 مليون طفل غير ملتحقين بالمدارس لكن مو بهذا العدد العدد 22% منهم من المرحلة الابتدائية فهذا شيء مؤسف احنا عندنا أربعة من كل خمسة أطفال عالميا يتوفون قبل بلوغهم سن الخامسة بالرغم معانا وزيرة الصحة موجودة بالرغم من التقارير الإيجابية اللي تقول عندنا تقدم صحي جيد وعندنا الأدوية اللي تطول بالعمر وعندنا وإلى آخرة إلا أن هذا المنحدر عندنا أربعة من خمسة أطفال يتوفون قبل بلوغهم سن الخامسة فأنا هذه العناوين مجرد عناوين بسيطة شاركتكم فيها وأنا عارف وكل ثقة تماما بأنكم أنتم أصحاب الاختصاص وأصحاب الخبرة وأصحاب العقول وأصحاب الابتكار ما دعيناكم عبث ما دعيناكم لحفل معين نحن دعيناكم عشان تستجيبون ونحن شاكرين لكم استجابتكم هذه المهمة العالمية ونتطلع بإذن الله رفع تقرير يساعد على بناء هذا العالم الجميل وفي النهاية أشكر حسن استماعكم صاحب السمو وإلى حضوركم معانا وما هذا إلا شرف كبير لنا The ceremony also included various performances and a short film. There's still time to protect the natural systems that give us life. تغيير بسيط بإيدينا يقلب في ثانية كل حياتنا If we ever look from far Our home is a blue star Pollution in the world But we can mend the earth With effort we can save A life below that makes The very air we breathe A possibility Ironically, we have more food than to feed the entire population of the planet. So see, hunger is not a problem of lack of food. Instead, it is a problem of ensuring that food is accessible to plan to get rid of the hunger. Millions of children holding out their hands, asking us to ban hunger. It's time to share.
on an IED during my service time in Afghanistan. I suffered life-altering injuries and lost both of my legs. ethical production in the fashion industry. According to the International Labour Organization, there were over 204 million people unemployed in 2015. Decent work means opportunities for everyone to access work that delivers a fair wage. No chance. I'm still dreaming. Let's get together. Let's turn this dream into reality. On March 12, 2018, we have lost a very special friend to us, Hassan Hariri. The magnitude of his loss left even the people that have never met him in awe. Colors of religions should tear us apart. Love and humanity, that is the start. For peace, for peace, for la paix, chanty qu'il y ait, for peace, we laughing, for la paix. His Highness Sheikh Nasser then honored the winners of 2018 Nasser bin Hamad International Youth Creativity Award, an initiative made to encourage youth to participate in the SDGs change process using multiple creative mediums.
The first ever 2018 Youthful Festival, which aims to promote the importance of youth development and engagement towards achieving the SDGs, is another stepping stone for the kingdom as it caters to the biggest youth-centered development movement. Uh, we're quite delighted to be here today under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa at the Youth Festival, which is the first of its kind in the world. Uh, we've got more than 90 different countries participating with us uh, this evening uh, and for the entire week. So um, we're looking forward to 17 different activities of which we've got the International Youth Conference, we've got the SDG Studio, we've got uh, so many fun and interesting activities happening uh, over the week. So we are just quite delighted to have uh, this mass of, of uh, young individuals from all over the world, four different continents, in Bahrain. Through its integrated program, the event provides an exciting and engaging experience for young people and a platform where young people can contribute to discussions, their collective ideas, solutions and innovations towards achieving the SDGs. Actually, we are uh, organizing this 10th edition of the conference this year and uh, we are so happy that we are bringing together uh, more than uh, six speakers from uh, different countries to spot the light on different goals related to the uh, sustainable development goals. This means so much to me, you know, as an artist to be recognized for your work and to come all the way out here and just to be recognized is one of the most amazing feelings ever. And, you know, I can't wait to see what happens after this. The week-long event highlights the Kingdom's efforts to youth empowerment and its continued commitment to raise awareness among the youth on achieving the SDGs to make the most effective transformation of the Kingdom and the world into a better place. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for patronizing the first international youth forum to achieve SDGs. He affirmed His Majesty's patronage is a continuation of the initiatives of His Majesty and the Kingdom of Bahrain towards empowering young people and educating them towards achieving sustainable development goals. He expressed keenness to implement the vision of His Majesty to make Bahrain the major global start to give young people the opportunity to implement the goals of sustainable development through the adoption of distinct youth programs capable of embracing the world's youth innovations and implementing them. His Highness added that the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the opening ceremony affirms his support of Bahrain's advanced approach to manage sustainable development goals. It also affirms the remarkable progress made by Bahrain in SDGs, which was revealed through the government's action plan and voluntary report. His Highness stressed that this event is a confirmation of the Kingdom's efforts in empowering its youth to achieve SDGs. He expressed appreciation for the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, for its cooperation in making the festival a success. He also praised the great efforts made by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs the working committees and sponsors in order to highlight the opening ceremony and the festival. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today Egypt's Sport Minister Dr. Ashraf Subhi in the presence of Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Secretary General Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, and Egypt's Ambassador to Bahrain Zuhair Ibrahim Al Far. His Highness discussed ways of enhancing Bahrain in Egypt's joint cooperation in the youth and sports fields and exchange visits between delegations in addition to developing sports and youth agreements between the two countries. His Highness affirmed the importance of the Egyptian delegation's visit in laying solid foundations for constructive cooperation between the two brotherly countries, affirming Bahrain's keenness on strengthening cooperation with Egypt in various fields. He highlighted the strong relations between the two countries in various fields, especially the youth and sports sector. And 
and expressed hope to further bolster these relations to meet the aspirations of the two people. For his part, the Egyptian minister praised the efforts of Bahrain in supporting the youth and sports movement and the achievements that have been made in international championships and organizing many sports events in the kingdom. He noted the importance of developing bilateral relations and organizing many joint programs in these important fields, exchanging delegations and benefiting from exercises. He also hailed the organization of the first International Youth Festival for achieving sustainable development goals. The minister congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser on achieving the first place in the Ironman Championship held in Kona, USA. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work in youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the third board meeting of the Bahrain Olympic Committee held today. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the members on the outstanding sport achievements this year under the theme Gold Only, where 391 medals were achieved on various levels. The Vice President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim bin Hamad Al Khalifa gave a speech in which he congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the winning of the Iron World Ironman Championship in the U.S. city of Kona. The meeting approved of the establishment of a shareholding company to manage the Bahrain Sports Medicine Center of the Bahrain Olympic Committee in order to upgrade the services provided by the center to athletes and other segments of Bahrain society. They also selected five promising athletes with outstanding talents to participate in a special preparation program program for the 2024 Olympics. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized the Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa to inaugurate the first edition of the International Gulf Downstream Association Conference held from October 23rd until the 25th at the Bahrain International Exhibition Center. The conference held under the slogan towards a competitive refining through innovation, cooperation and technology is organized by the Gulf Downstream Association in cooperation and coordination with the National Order Oil and Gas Authority and supported by Bahraini Gulf and international companies. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa conveyed the greetings of His Highness the Prime Minister to participate the wishes to them to contribute to the exchange of experiences. He thanked them and for their efforts in order to exchange experiences and benefit in all matters related to the development of the oil, gas and petrochemical sector. The Deputy Prime Minister stressed the government's keenness to support the oil sector and its related industries because of their impact in supporting the efforts of Bahrain in sustainable development. He said that the development of the refining and petrochemical industry in the Kingdom of Bahrain is booming. He stressed that Bahrain's success in attracting major international exhibitions, including the first exhibition, reflects the great confidence in the Kingdom's capabilities in the exhibitions and conferences sector. For his part, the Minister of Oil Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa expressed his sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his patronage of the exhibition, stressing that this generous care confirms the government's keenness to support the oil refining industry. He also thanked Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa for the opening of the exhibition on behalf of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. He stressed the importance of the oil refining and petrochemical industry and its great positive impact on the national economy by boosting investments in the oil industry. The minister pointed out the positive return of the oil refining and petrochemical industry in diversifying sources of income and enhancing the kingdom's position as one of the attractive destinations for investment.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also delegated Minister of Oil Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa to inaugurate the first edition of International Downstream Conference and Exhibition in presence of distinguished delegations from countries of the world. The Minister of Oil expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for the keen desire to support oil, gas and petrochemical sector in the kingdom. He stressed the keenness of the government of Bahrain to attract and host the specialized events in the oil sector. The Minister of Oil said that the conference and exhibition is the first leading strategic platform in the Middle East to meet business challenges. He praised the efforts exerted by the chairman of the Gulf Downstream Association and the members of the board of directors in establishing this global forum in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Kingdom of Bahrain announces the designation of nine individuals associated with the Taliban, including Iranian facilitators Mohammad Ibrahim Ohidi, Ismail Radwi, Abdullah Samad Farooqi, Mohammad Dawood Muzmil, Abdul Rahim Manan, Mohammad Naim Barich, Abdul Aziz Shah Zamani, Sadr Ibrahim, and Hafiz Abdul Majid. The Kingdom also announces the designation of four individuals and one entity previously designated by the U.S. Treasury Department that provides sponsorship, financial and material support to terror activities conducted by Iran and the Iranian Revolutionary Regard Corps. These steps come as part of the joint efforts by the Kingdom and its partners in the Terrorist Financing Targeting Center to identify, track and share information regarding terrorist financial networks and relevant activities, threats emerging from terrorist states and organizations, all assets, property and revenues associated with the individuals and the entity are frozen in the designated countries and persons are prohibited from engaging in any transaction with the individuals and entitled in TFTC member countries. The initial link 2018 exercise conducted by the BDF force, represented by the Bahraini Royal Air Force, continued for the third day with the participation of nine sister and friendly countries. The exercise is part of the training philosophy of the BDF, which aims to intensify joint exercises with brotherly and friendly countries. The BDF is keen to implement the exercise, which contributes in raising the level of participants in all matters relating to the development of the air defense work and the exchange of military expertise. في ظل سيدي صاحب الجلالة عهد البلاد المفدة حفظه الله ورعاه وبدعم من سيدي صاحب المعالي القائد العام لقوى الدفاع البحرين يأتي هذا التمرين الكبير ترجمة واقعية وملموسة للتعاون العسكري بين المشتركين بين الدول الشقيقة والصديقة والحليفة ويهدف بشكل عام إلى تعزيز وتبادل الخبرات بين المشاركين يحتضن سلاح الجو الملكي البحريني تمرين الربط الأساسي 2018 الممتد من 1988 أي ما يقارب 30 سنة ويعتبر هذا التمرين من أكبر التمارين التعبوية الجوية المشتركة ويكون مشاركة الدول الشقيقة والصديقة والحليفة في هذا التمرين ولله الحمد تمكن المشاركين من تحقيق جميع الأهداف بكل احترافية وكفاءة عالية